Hey guys, my name is Luke. This is Luke Home Reviews, and this is my buddy Mitch. What's up, guys? Mad Chill Mitch here. Thanks, Luke, for having me. Absolutely. We're going to talk about it. Five Points Fest today. Uh, Mitch was kind enough to pick me up a couple things, and another friend of mine, who just happens to be Mitch's girlfriend, Sabra, um, was so great and was texting me all morning and sending me pics and saying, like, is this the right thing? So I can't thank you guys enough. It's very, very cool of, of you guys to do this of for course. me. Um, and also, Mitch is going to show us some of what he got. And then we're gonna just talk about the festival uh, overall. So Mitch, why don't you get started? What do sure. you wanna show first? So I, I definitely had some things on my agenda, my to-do, my get list, right? Uh, some of which were more action figure oriented based. Uh, one of which is the Rollbox 1000 Toys figure. The, this edition was actually a do I, uh, DIY colorway, mm -hmm. exclusive to Five Points. I don't know if it's exclusive to just Five Points or conventions in general, but this is the all white, plain and simple. It comes with a water, uh, a couple of decals that you could pop on there to customize it, but you are kind of supposed to paint yeah. it. You're supposed to do your own thing with it. You got any plans for this guy yet? Or I don't know yet. I, I, I bought a couple so that I could purposely play around with it and uh, maybe commission a couple things. But as is, just as a plain white figure, I think it's a great piece just on its own. It transforms into this Definitely. cute little box thing and it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, along with this piece, uh, I, I also picked up a couple of the 1000 Toys uh, synth figures. This one specifically is the Real Head Cyclone. Mm -hmm. um, the last of which that I needed for the triplet uh, crew of Real Head figures. Um, this one is the a new colorway. Um, a lot of people don't notice too that the head is actually different. It's got fangs on it, which is great. Not really? The I gun, the gun itself is uh, GLIOS compatible. You can kind of pop off some things, make your own thing. That's I was uh, telling a couple friends that I plan on doing a bazooka with it. Yeah, like I, I am not typically a big like action figure kind of guy. And as far as toys go, usually I'm almost exclusively Safubi and kind of sculpture related stuff, resin stuff sometimes. But some of the stuff that they had at Thousand Toys looked amazing. Yeah, it's it, it's you. You had people who were not from that spectrum of toy collecting, walking by and saying, oh wow, I think I gotta pick this up. Oh man, I, I'll, I'll just pick one thing up. Um, and I, the same goes for me, I, these were obviously on my list. And they had the one sixth uh, clear guy mm -hmm. um, sent figure as well. And I, I didn't plan on picking it up, but I just did on a whim. He's hanging out in the room right now, just hanging in the box. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is kind of a, a general standpoint of what I got, kind of my, my favorites. Um, I'll just move along, kind of going with the theme of the gun. This is by Fragile Darkness, uh, a Sofubi gun, kind of satanic, animalistic, gore looking. Very cool. um, if, you, if you're familiar with me, you guys know that I'm very much a fan of Adam A. Amasura, and I think that the paint job collabs really well and works really well in my, mm -hmm. my shelf. Uh, I tend to not pick things up unless it kind of meshes well with what I already have. Mm -hmm. And I made a conscious decision to pick this up and I'm purposely gonna stand it in the same Adam A. Amasura shelf. It looks really good in, in person. I've seen these online and stuff before, but to be able to like actually kind of hold one, it's like like child me would, would kill for this thing. It's yeah. very cool. It's very like well to scale and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got pretty big hands and I, I, I as you can see, Luke does too. And I, I think it just looks great yeah. hanging out. I'll probably use the same thing that I have here mm -hmm. uh, on the shelf, but it, it was, I didn't know they're gonna be there. So to pick that up was a nice surprise. Um, Definitely a nice addition to my collection. For sure. And kind of opposing to that, some things that were on my list were definitely, you know, the KBUG guys, the Game of Hope guys, uh, Skull Toys, Prong Junkers, they were there, thankfully. Mm -hmm. And I picked up the Dokudox Men. Uh, this is the Glow in the Dark colorway. Mm -hmm. It's so got sick. some black so accents, sick. the dark green accents. Uh, it, it has the extra real head arm. Uh, th this Takauchi san teased on his Instagram mm -hmm. that he was going to have and I had to pick it up. Um, so th this is definitely on my to get list and I'm happy and, and, uh, and honored to be able to pick this up. Uh, while at the booth the second day around, um, as some of you may know, the first day is more adult based, the bigger size orientated figures. The second day is more the smaller. This is kind of like the finger puppet, uh, the Aitsu Fortune Cat. It's, it's the base is pretty much the uh, real head fortune cap, but it's got obviously that that Aitsu head, head on it. 
uh, in this colorway, a lot of people didn't realize, is the Japanese soda ramen mm -hmm. colorway. I remember and getting that at Epcot when I was a kid. I thought know. it was very cool. Yeah. These are, I, I, I love these because it's like the same kind of Aitsu feel to it, the same kind of like uh, wacky kind of uh, feel, but it's smaller, you know, it's... Um, a little easier on the budget. Yeah, I love it. I think they're very cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, someone was saying you could fill it up with some like beads to kind of make it look like it's oh, yeah. soda too. I'll, I'll leave mine as is, but I'm, I'm, that's my actual first i2 cat. So again, that's awesome crazy, addition. Really? Yeah, first I didn't one. know that. Yeah, I, I don't have many cats, but mm -hmm. wanted to add that. So uh, I, ha I, I got a couple more things, but uh, I'll keep the video short on my part at least. And I wanted to show these two pieces. Um, these, this guy at least, this is uh, a collab with uh, Quick, or is it Quick's Quick? Uh, and oh my god, I keep doing this. Momoko, Kokomo. I'll find out Momo the name. Momoko, I think. Yeah, we'll cut. We'll cut that. <laughs> hopefully. So uh, always doing sharks. All of their stuff is sharks. It's always shark base. Uh, either a hammerhead, mm -hmm. great white. But this one obviously is kind of like a more of a quick style of a cyborg head yeah. with this very 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 gradient amazing colorway with mm -hmm. these pastels. It's got the pink, the blue, the yellow, the green. Um, very, very, very akin to Chef, who I'm a huge fan of. And I did. I wasn't aware that they're gonna be here. And when I saw them, they were, they were next to the K-Bug uh, mm -hmm. booth. I saw it and I said, okay, I'm gonna pick that up without a doubt. Yeah. Um, so this guy was hanging out on the table and, and this guy was right behind him. Uh, I had zero idea what this guy was and he didn't have a price tag. He didn't have much on him He wasn't in a bag with a header, so I didn't think he was for sale and even did just based on the paint it, it, itself I thought it was a paint sample because of how well, you know, yeah. hand-painted it is um, You know each one is, is a little different from one another. So long story short. I picked this guy up again. This is a Momoko figure Sofa B figure. I believe they're Korea based uh, which is cool. I don't have a lot of Korean Sofubi. Mm -hmm. um, it might actually be my first, but this one is a shark with a dad bod, Luke just said before we started I filming. It. I love because it's so like scary and badass, but also kind of just a little chubby boy. A little chubby, yeah, a little yeah. chubby, little cute dude. I've, I've loved their kind of standard size shark figures for a while, but I haven't seen any of their stuff in person ever, and I'm, I'm yeah. blown away by the quality. Yeah, and um, I was speaking to Kore Kore, who was the booth that uh, held these, thankfully, and I uh, picked them up from them. Mm -hmm. Check them out if you haven't already. UK-based distributor. Exactly. Great guys. Uh, really friendly staff. Um, they were telling me that this guy is kind of the more mature adult version of their little smaller mm -hmm. figure, and he was giving it the nickname of, like, the Shark Daddy, which I think is hilarious. Is and it, yeah. it, it's, it's extremely fitting with this, this dad bod yeah. in particular. Uh, and a, an amazing addition to my collection again. I don't normally stream away from the the normal real head realm very often, but I'm, I'm happy to have this guy join, and I'm glad he oh, got right. here one piece, or actually a couple different pieces. <laughs> I had to get in my, my suitcase somehow. You took it off to put it in your suitcase? Yeah, you? I literally <laughs> like, wrapped each arm and head in a That's sock hilarious. to make sure it was safe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Amazing. this is this is the gist of what I got. Beautiful stuff. Do you mind if I get the guy too? Yeah, of it's, course. It's, it's just the best. Like, you gotta talk about it. Sure. This was honestly probably my favorite, one of my favorite things they had at the entire show. Because I've loved this figure since it came out, and I think this colorway is Yeah, this is dope. This is uh, Takeuchi again of Skull Toys. Uh, he debuted the original mold pretty much last year's uh, at Decon last year 2017 um, the name is a play on Aitsu the punk junkers Aitsu but this one is a guy which I didn't know until literally last night when you brought it up in yeah. your live stream I was there like I always just thought it was just guy too yeah a lot of people don't realize that this is you know this isn't one piece this is you know this is a skull toys arm and this is a skull toys head but everything else minus the paint job is a punk junkers Aitsu body mm -hmm. So uh, if, even if you look at the back of it, it says PDS, Punk Junkers, oh, School Toys, and then Real Head. That's cool. So it's like a triple collab here. Yeah. So yeah, again, similar to the Dokurox Man by mm -hmm. School Toys, this was teased on Instagram uh, a couple days prior to the show. 
Um, they both glow in the dark, correct? Yeah, they're yep. both glow in the dark base. This guy has a crazy glow. I thought this was gonna be some sort of tribute, um, and apparently it's not. It's just a really cool color that Takeuchi liked, and I, mm -hmm. I think translates really well with the orange gold glow and the, the sick. forest green. It is sick. But uh, yeah, you know, I think it's time for you to yeah. showcase some well, of your toys. Yeah, let's talk about what you guys, once again, were, were so kind to get me. So I got a couple things here. I got the uh, painted uh, cadaver kid from Splurt. Splurt had a couple of different things there. He had a couple of different blanks. Um, he also had like some collabs with MVH, which were- uh, Explosive. Yeah, lottery based, very popular. Um, eh, I always have trouble with the headers. Here, will you work on that for me actually? Sure. So um, the Taste of the Orient last, uh, a couple months ago was the first Splurt piece I ever got. If you guys have seen um, my video for that, I got the one-off uh, CK Beta. And so the CK Beta, CK stands for Cadaver Kid. It's all kind of one line from Splurt. It's all many different variations on one character. He has like a mecha Cadaver Kid, which is half robot, half um, kind of corpse like this. And then he has the CK Beta, which is all robot. Um, That's and, probably my favorite Splurt piece, mm -hmm. actually. I love the CK them. Beta? Yeah, when when uh, when Lo uh, Luke picked that up at the show. It's amazing. We were both surprised that it wasn't picked up yet. I thought it was yeah. picked up, and, yeah. and someone just didn't, you know, they left it there for yeah. show, but... There, it, there, the crowd piece. at that show was kind of weird this year. People were picking weird stuff, but... Um, luck was in your favor, though. Luck was definitely on my side. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so the CK Beta was my introduction to Splurt. Once I got my hands on it, I knew who he was, but once I got my hands on that figure, I was like, this quality, this is amazing. I love the design of it. I love the attitude that it has. And when I saw the uh, the, the pulls of the cadaver kid that he was gonna have at the show, um, the glitter is so dope. There was a lot of really cool glitter shit there because Justin Ishmael had some amazing glitter pulls um, of the Galagansis as well. He had like marble glitter. Did you, were you able to catch a, a peek of those? Yeah. They're those amazing. Look they look unbelievable. It, it's one of those things that looked good in pictures, but when you see yeah. it in person, it, it just it doesn't do it justice. So yeah, so he had some blanks of these, but I really liked the colorway that he decided oh, to go wow. with. If you could see too yeah. with the light, it's a translucent plastic with the glitter. It's beautiful. And amazing. the uh, the little stitching is black as usual for Splurt. He's got a little butt. Always got to have a little butt. Um, but yeah, I love this dude. Um, I reached out to Splurt, uh, and, and cause I was thinking about entering the lotto for the DX. Obviously I wasn't there in person and I didn't want to step on toes period. Um, and so I messaged him, uh, privately and said like, Hey, can I have my friend enter this lotto for me? And he said, yes, he was very kind, but um, I decided not to because I just uh, I decided I would pick up some other things. I gotta say this Instead, is an amazing piece. This it's is, beautiful, right? It's great. Great the, pick. The, the pour is crazy. The vinyl on this guy is crazy. Uh, the next one, this should be a surprise to nobody. Uh, <laughs> I had to pick up the Dio Negara that they had in my plastic cart. Um, the, the, the milky white on this thing is so nuts. So good. Um, I, I think it looks great with too with the, the, the almost matte orange and right. pink and yellow. It just looks great yeah. against this weird yogurt color. Yeah, and Konatsu just, uh, I think that big collections of Konatsu display really well together. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I'm heading. <laughs> uh, I, I, I what love is this, this Konatsu 2? This is my second Dio Negara, but I have uh, two Shibaras and one nice. uh, Sleeping Negara. I, don't, I still don't have any of her standard size uh, Negara. I don't know why. I think it's just because I like the Shibara better. Yeah. This, so whenever I have a chance to it's buy a, standard It's a good bang for your buck too, I think. So good. Really all is. of her stuff is, is she never gouges the prices at all. It's, mm -hmm. it's really, really excellent. Uh, I'll move on. The next one uh, that I got. Oh man. This is, yo, this, this in person looks absolutely unbelievable. This is from Draculaser. Um, Great guy, is, by the way. Super, super nice man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I had had my eyes on these for a little while. I've had my eyes on Draculaser for a little while. He had some Draculobsters, he had some minis and stuff there, but this colorway of the Serpentoid, I just think is really cool. I love like, it's got like tiny little legs and big arms for some <laughs> reason. And then also the back of the head is kind of a spooky, yeah, jack-o'-lantern face. 
Um, Remind me of a, like a Jack Leonard Ultron. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice clear vinyl. And also, I heard uh, in an interview, I think, or maybe I just heard in a video vomit video, I don't remember, that uh, Draculaser actually uses Chinese Sifuti, which I think is great because I think sometimes, like, you know, you never want to be like a snob about Sifuti, yeah. and I think Draculaser makes incredible quality stuff and it's super well designed and it's it seems super quality to me so i love this um i will be this is my first dracula laser piece of many there will be more to come <laughs> and then this last one so this was the last one i got oh this um, one's awesome i i knew this was coming because i was looking on uh instagram and everything and i saw on the punk drunkers page that this other artist that i had never heard of was going to be at their booth yeah, they kind of shared the booth with a couple different people, mm -hmm. along with Skull Toys and Punk Junkers, uh, Milk Boy Toys, mm -hmm. and... Uh... And Hakaba no Hakamori. This was a person I had never heard of, but I then went and followed them on Instagram. I saw their teaser of this figure, and I was just blown away. It looked so cool. Uh, and also, I, I think you mentioned, or I think I heard that they've never shown in North America before. Not to my knowledge, though. No. Um, so this guy is ridiculous. It's really large. Um, the kind of transparent uh, pink is the base vinyl. So you can see it in the hair here and then on the hands and feet. It comes with this sword. The paint job is is really oh, like solid. Crazy. It's really detailed. The, the cool thing about it, as Luke was just mentioning, it is a pink base. You can, you can kind mm -hmm. of see it if you really, really poke at it. But the thing that I really appreciated is that they did a really good job of filling that paint up so that when you are seeing the, yeah. the translucent, it really sticks out. So yeah. this is all pink. Yeah. And I, I'm looking at it through the light and it's not poking through because they did such a good job. Up. Yeah. So what really sticks out is, is the plain unpainted plastic. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. And I, I this was a funny one because um, at the end of the day, I, I still had a, a little bit money of what I had kind of budgeted left over and uh, y'all were texting me and, and you said they still had some of the punk drunkers, the little character that looks like that uh, one of the Muppets or something. Mm -hmm. And I, don't get me wrong, I think that figure is very cool and I, and I liked it, I thought it was funny, but I also really wanted this one. And I was kind of trying to make up my mind and I was thinking about the other one, I was like, the main reason I kind of, one of the main reasons I like the other one is just because it is punk drunkers. punk drunkers piece. Yeah. And I said like, no, Luke, like stop, take a second. Cause this thing is so cool. All right, so technical difficulties. Uh, I don't know what happened. I've had my camera run out of battery on me before. I've had my memory card run out of space on me before, but it was in all the just, amazing toys. There was too much. It was too much to handle. handle it. But um, I was talking about this piece right here. Um, not making a quality judgment on Punk Trunkers. Obviously, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm a big fan of Punk Trunkers. But that piece just didn't speak to me as much as this one did in a vacuum. So I decided I'll, I'll go for it. And uh, so yeah, that's my haul. So uh, we'll leave these here. Maybe I'll cut in some B-roll of the toys here, but I'll, I'll, I got a couple questions, Mitch, before we go. Yeah, sure. Um, so talk about the uh, the lottery system. So Punk Drunkers and Skull Toys, they went with a lottery this time instead of just uh, yeah. having everyone line up. How did you feel about that? I, I definitely thought it had some pros and cons. Being that I'm based out of Los Angeles, I, I'm more akin to go to Designer Con. Uh, for the past couple of years that I have been collecting, it's always been the Wild Wild West when, mm -hmm. when it comes to the K-Bug crew again, the yep. KBUG Game of Hope crew. Um, you, you're just kind of hail marrying it and hoping that you can pick something up. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you get up in line, you get back in line again and hopefully your second pick, third pick, fourth pick is still there if, if not already sold out. Oftentimes it's gone. So the, the pro of having a ticket system I think was um, it was completely by chance or, or by luck, yeah. if you were to put it, uh, what you got. The thing that I, I wasn't well announced or maybe uh, described was that when you got to the actual table, you were supposed to propose what you wanted. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted both of these characters, you had to say, I want both the Skull Toys Dokuroks and I also want the, the guy too. So separate lottery for each figure. Separate ticket okay. for each one. Yeah. And mind you, there's technically four pieces that mm -hmm. we're using the system. The Dokuroks, uh, Gai Tzu, the Spider Su, and the Zilaitsu. 
So if you only got one ticket the mm -hmm. first time around, you'd have to get back in line just to get another ticket. And mind you, th this this line was growing and growing and growing. Yeah, of course. Because they were the first people in line were the the VIP vendors. Yeah. Sorry, the VIPs, the vendors, and then came mm -hmm. the general audience that kind of brought a mass of uh, to this line. Right. So it definitely got bigger and bigger and bigger. But yeah, to to kind of put things straight, I I think it was a beneficial. Uh, change in, in, in their system? I feel uh, like it would be. I, I, I tend to think that lottery is probably the fairest way to do it yes. these days, you know? Um, and I understand that sometimes it's more work and sometimes I understand when artists want to do just kind of a shop drop or like just a line system, um, but I think lotteries are great. I think it's a very fair way. Yeah, the, the only thing that would kind of mess it up is if, if someone's going in there with a group of people or or mm -hmm. someone's getting multiple tickets somehow. That that makes mm -hmm. it a little unfair, but that kind of yeah. goes with everything. You said that there was a little bit of a flipper problem there. I I, I know that literally the day after the show ended on eBay, I was already seeing Gaitsu yeah. up for seven hundred dollars, the Doku Rocks for seven hundred dollars. Um, it's a problem in the designer toy community. It's a problem in any community. Um, whatever whatever is hype or whatever yeah. is hot is gonna bring that out. I mean, it's the same thing with sneakers and yeah. fucking Funko Pops and whatever you happen to be into. By the way, by the way, my four pieces that I got here, <laughs> this isn't even all of the money that I made selling my Funko Pops in the past yeah. like month. So I'm very happy. Like I said in one of my earlier videos, I'm keeping my collectibles budget at a zero sum game right now which That's is good. very exciting. And I still have kept some of my Funko Pops that like mean a lot to me, but much more excited to have uh, this right here. Um, last question, I just want to talk about like the show itself, just judging by what I've seen on Instagram and, and yeah. in videos and stuff, it seemed a lot uh, smaller, more intimate. Um, and that seemed like it might be kind of nice, really fun to be mm -hmm. able to really spend some time and talk to all the artists. How did you feel about the size and the uh, intimacy of the show? Yeah, yeah, definitely the the fact that it was in one hall or one room. Mind you, this is my first time going to Five Points. This mm -hmm. is the second time the show's been around. And from when I was very hearing- Very new, yeah. It, it's, a, it's, a very no, it's a very new show to begin with. So so every subtle change is a, is a is a drastic one. What you know, being that it, you're going from product A to product B. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the fact that it was under one hall for all of the showcase, it made it seem as though you can get from point A to point B rather quickly, and you'd kind of be able to memorize the map, so yeah. to speak, rather quickly as well. Uh, again, to kind of compare it to Decon, as everyone has been doing, yeah. Decon has what is it, four, three or four different halls, and it has kind of the the hallways and it's between them only gonna be getting bigger in With the anaheim. coming years we're moving to anaheim exactly now. And, um and yeah and decon has been around for what at least 10 years i think yeah. um so yeah i think fi it looked very fun uh it looked like a, a really cool time to be able to hang out and talk to everybody and i've i've experienced this also not to get too cheesy but like in the time that i've spent making my favorite Safubi figures videos and all the artists that I've reached out to on Instagram, literally everyone I've talked to has just been like really kind. Yeah. And very cool. And it's it a seems good like a, a really, really great community. Um, I'm really bummed. I don't know if I've said this on the channel before, but I'm missing Decon this year because of my wedding, uh, oh, which is obviously you know, another thing that I'm very excited <laughs> about, but um, it just it just happens to fall on literally the exact yeah, same weekend as Decon. Yeah, so... Um, the good thing is you have friends in the community. Absolutely. As long as you're not doing anything shady or, or yeah. under anyone's nose, I think you're fine. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what I said about like what I mentioned with the splurt, the DX lottery. Yeah, you're, it was um, honest. I, uh, when, I, when I went up, I said, uh, which one did I get? This guy, like, mm -hmm. I, I told him straight up, yeah, this is for yeah. my buddy who's a big fan of yours, yada, 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 check him out. And and there was a thing, because there's a difference between, like, flippers and mules and first-hand buyers. And then yeah. I saw something that MVH posted about the things he was bringing, and he specifically said, no flippers and no mules. And so I didn't even bother. I said, yeah. I, I'm not going to try and get, it. it's up to the artist what they want to do with their work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel very fortunate to have gotten what I got. Uh, thanks so much, Mitch, for sharing a little bit of your haul with of us. Course, man. Thanks so much again, uh, Sabra, and both of you guys for picking me up stuff. Uh, this has been Lukewarm Reviews. Uh, we'll be back with more toys, more movies uh, very soon. See you guys.